Hello everyone, I'm Mike D'Angelo with That's Entertainment. This is my take on the Microsoft E3 conference from 2010. Um, I actually thought that Microsoft's E3 2010 was probably the worst conference that I've seen since I started watching the E3 conferences. Uh, the reason that I thought this was 2006 PlayStation had you know a pretty bad conference, 2008 Nintendo had a really bad conference. But there was something about this conference, specifically when they were debuting Kinect, where it felt like they were treating everybody like five-year-olds. I understand that Kinect is aimed towards a market where things are more casual, things are more kiddie, but the people watching this conference are not that demographic. They didn't need to talk to us like we were idiots. They had some of the worst scripted presentation that I've ever seen. Uh, it, it won't take much for Sony and Nintendo to beat Microsoft this year. That's not to say that Microsoft didn't have good things to show. They did have plenty of good things that I saw. Um, it didn't start off so so great because they were showing non-exclusive titles like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and Metal Gear Solid Rising. I'll get to that when I actually do the developers for those games. I'll do their conferences. But Microsoft didn't do those games. They're showing up on Microsoft's system, which is nice, but they didn't hit their big guns until towards the middle, and even then it was before Kinect. They sandwiched two bad things on the sides of something that was actually good. They started off with Gears of War 3, which to me looks fantastic. I liked Gears of War 2. Um, it's the way that they're putting four-player gaming into this looks fantastic. It seems like there's a lot more going on here. There's just something about Gears of War 3 that really appeals to me. They also showed Halo Reach, and I'm not really a big Halo fan. That's just me. I don't really like Halo. Um, it's To me, it doesn't seem like they've really done much with Halo over the years. There was something about this gameplay trailer that looked really impressive to me. Um, watching the demo unfold during the conference looked pretty impressive. I don't know if what I was seeing was what was really going on. I haven't played the demo just because there's other things that I'd rather be putting my time toward. But I'm actually interested in playing Halo Reach, uh, so I will give it a shot in the future. Um, Peter Molyneux also debuted a trailer for Fable 3. Something about this one also kind of piqued my interest. I'm, I kind of felt let down after the first and second Fable. There's just something... Fable actually seems to me more casual than a lot of games. There's just something very Sims-ish about it. And, and that's not to, you know put Sims down or anything, it's just that I was looking for one avenue of excitement and I got something completely different. It feels like the real draw of the Fable games is, you know, doing work, uh, playing with your dog, stuff like that. Whereas this game, it looks like it's kind of streamlining the combat, which I'm really into. Um, I don't know, this, this Fable seems different. I'm not going to hype myself up like I have for the last two, but there's something about this one that definitely piqued my interest. And then finally, uh, the other main set of games that we saw from Microsoft's conference was the Kinect games. They debuted Kinect, which was, it's going to be the title of what was being called Natal for the last year. Um, like I said, the presentation of Kinect was abominable. They talked to, to us like we were idiots. Um, they had some of the worst scripted presentations. Uh, it didn't feel like anybody really believed what they were hyping up. Um, and that's not to say that Kinect isn't going to be good. There's already been plenty of other software titles out there that are using Kinect, and they look pretty impressive. But that's from other developers. I'll get to them at their conference. It actually it looked like there were a lot of rip-offs from the first-party studios, so I wasn't too impressed. It seemed like just graphical overhauls to Wii Sports... Um, almost like Nintendogs, but with cats. Um, they had a couple things that the first party developer looked like it could have been fun. They had a, a game called Connect Adventures, which seems like it could have been cool. Maybe like, um, if you remember that Nickelodeon show, Space Arcade, kind of looks like a more complex version of that. And then, to wrap everything up, Microsoft actually debuted their new Slim model, which actually looks pretty decent. Uh, it's going to be the same price as the current Elite, I believe. Uh, it's going to be $299, and it's going to have 250 gigs of hard drive space. And 
It's also going to have built-in Wi-Fi. Some people are okay with that. Some other people don't really like that idea because they think that it's going to hinder the online experience. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to get to the next conference as soon as I can, and I'll be back with another video. Peace.